In this video, Sonic unexpectedly decides to prank Amy. What could possibly go wrong and what kind of trouble will they face? Can they manage to handle monster Amy? Or will she catch them and turn them into monsters too? Guys, hello everyone. Today, I'm going to visit my friends and I think they've prepared something for me today. Wait, what's that over there? Eggman is standing there. I think he wants something from me. Come here, Sonic. I've got something prepared for you. I'm in such a good mood today, and we can prank someone together. Maybe you'll help me prank Amy today? She's at her house now and doesn't suspect a thing. Prank Amy? Honestly, I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe we shouldn't do it. Oh, come on! Don't you want to have a laugh? I've already prepared everything, and you're not going to let me down, right? Here's a rope, and I'll give you something else, too. What's with this funny kit? What do I do with it? Oh, I don't know if this will end well, but I guess we could try. And while I'm at it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave likes, and comment on what you think. Will she appreciate my prank or not? What's going on here? Did she really overeat on pizza? Amy, can you explain what's happening here? Get up! I ordered delivery today, but I miscalculated, and there was too much! I overate! Do you want some too? There's enough for everyone. Honestly, I'm not hungry, but I can take some for later and eat it in my place while I'm gaming. I ate so much I can barely stand. Can you believe it? Don't do that again. It could be dangerous for you. Can you close your eyes for a moment? Why is this some kind of stupid prank? Haha, <laughs> yes, it's a prank and I'm about to pull it off. Hey, what did you do? My head is spinning really badly. What's in your hand? All right, guys, I think I'm heading over to Tails right now. I need to tell him about my prank, and I hope he'll like it. I tied up Amy. What do you think? Have you lost your mind or something? Why did you even do that? Have some carrots. No, I don't need any carrots. We've got plenty of pizza. Just look, it's scattered all over the city. Where's it all from? Did you order it? Amy seems to have messed up with an extra zero and ordered way too much pizza. Now I think we can live off it for a long time. She ordered pizza for us. And you just went ahead and tied her up? I think it's harmless, and she's not even mad at me. Let's see what she's doing. I can't do anything at all. Untie me right now. This is really funny, but why is she saying she's losing consciousness? I'm not joking at all right now. It's true. This clearly isn't our problem, and I'd like to buy a new outfit, for example. Knuckles' store has new stock. I'd like to try something on. Wait, what's this? He won't refuse. We've got big problems. Now you're definitely in trouble. Come here. I'm not letting you go that easily. How did she even turn into that giant monster? I don't know, but honestly, I didn't want things to go this way. She's probably so angry now that we have to run, and she might even spit acid. Look at that. If she hits us, it could end badly. We need to come up with something quickly. Maybe we can calm her down somehow and turn her back to normal? Could it be because she ate too much pizza? Pizza doesn't usually have that effect. She's just mad, and now we need to run away from her as fast as possible. The mall is nearby. I think we can find something there that she'll like for sure. Don't fall behind, please. I think she might grab you otherwise. She's going to get so big, she'll eat the entire building with us inside. And where is Knuckles right now? Probably at the store, but we definitely won't find him at McDonald's. Let's head up to the next floor. I remember there was a flower shop around here somewhere. Maybe we can find something there. Flowers might help calm her down. And we'll get her a cake too, and she'll turn back to normal. We'll need to apologize because she's really mad at me. All right, this is the last floor, I think. Let's go this way. I heard someone, and it sounded like Knuckles. Let's ask him. Maybe he can help us. I don't think he's here, but let's see. Oh, there he is. Hey, Knuckles. What's that noise outside? What's going on? Amy's so big, she looks like she's going to eat us. Are you crazy? What if she doesn't like your gifts? Find something quickly. She's spitting acid, and she's as big as the fourth floor already. I'll get you out of there and tie you up just like you did to me. And you won't find it funny. I think I have an idea. Wait here for a moment. Follow me to the third floor. I'll give you something. Let's go. I hope this idea works. Are you planning to feed her burgers? I don't think that will work. No, not burgers. I've got something more interesting. Just wait a second. This will definitely help. All right, then show us what you've got. I hope she doesn't eat us. Hurry up. Here, this is a cake she really loves. I think it'll do the trick. And take some flowers, too. These are her favorites. Thank you so much. We'll handle it now. I didn't think you'd come through like this. I'm not doing this just to save you. I'm doing it so she doesn't destroy my mall. I had no choice, if you understand. Well, that works for us. Let's go save Amy. 
We're heading down as fast as we can to try and calm her down. Those strange noises! I hope she doesn't destroy everything before we make her friendly again! I really hope this works and she becomes our friend again. Amy, I think you were looking for us. We've got something for you. Oh yes, I've been looking for you. Come here, you look so sweet. Hey, no need for all that. Here, take these flowers and this cake. I think you'll love them. Wow, flowers. Oh yes, I love them. Thank you, how did you know? We're sorry. We won't do anything like that again. I think I'm getting kinder and I don't even understand why, but I don't want to eat you anymore. Amy, are you okay? Do you feel better? Honestly, I wanted to eat you, and I didn't like it. I didn't want to be so angry at you, but you left me no choice. But now I forgive you. Thanks for the help. Wait, what was that? Hey, Eggman, we need to run before he gets us. Let's head home. I'll treat you all to some pizza. There's enough for everyone, and it'll last a long time. In this video, we find ourselves once again in an exciting adventure from Kane. What unexpected dangers await us this time? Will we be able to get out of here on our own, or will we have to call for help? Hey guys, I hope at least you understand where Kane has sent us and what kind of place this is. Apparently, as always, we have to go through a lot of trials that we know little about. I really hope we can stay in this mansion to properly have fun with you, Pomni. I certainly wouldn't stay here with you for long. Well, in that case, let's finally go inside. To be honest, this place terrifies me incredibly. I completely agree with you because this mansion really looks quite gloomy. Wow, guys, just look at this. It seems we have to choose which door to go through. As far as I understand, one of them is boarded up. Since that door is closed, I think we should go here after all. What? What is that? It seems that something is definitely wrong here. Hey guys, get away from there immediately before you fall into that sinister void. Hey Kinger, it seems we definitely have big problems since we don't even know where we are. Apparently, we ended up in some very strange room. Did you happen to notice if Jax was supposed to come here with us? Wait, what is that? I absolutely don't understand what's happening in this stupid room. Maybe you have any ideas about what we should do now? It seems that the heads of each resident of the amazing digital circus are hanging all over the room. We urgently need to come up with a way to get out of here. Hey, what is that? Apparently, as soon as we entered, the fireplace immediately lit up. Knowing Kane's other adventures, we definitely need to look for some way to get out of here as soon as possible. Most likely, we can find some clues in this room to find an exit. Do you think you're right? Then let's try to find something. And guys, don't forget to hit the like button under this video and subscribe to our channel. By the way, it seems that I don't recognize one of the heads hanging on the wall. Personally, I have no idea who that is. I've never met him in my life either, so I can assume that he's someone extra whom we might encounter today in this mansion. To be honest, I really want to meet him, so let's hurry up and try to find a way out of here. By the way, there's a really cool aquarium here just like the one in my little house. I wanted to get at least one like that too. There are so many different pieces of furniture here, but I completely don't understand what exactly we are supposed to find here. There's even a huge wardrobe with clothes. It seems that I have an idea because there's an iron door in the very corner of the room that we can try to open. It seems there's really nothing else to look for here, so let's definitely try to go further to see what interesting things await us there. Apparently, this is a giant room filled with paintings and perhaps the next clue will be hidden in them. It even looks like an exit from this stupid basement, so let's try to open it, and maybe there's really a staircase waiting for us there. I still prefer to examine each of the paintings hanging on the wall, just in case it means something. I'm even surprised that we haven't met anyone during this cane adventure. This really doesn't look like him at all, because I even got bored at one moment. By the way, it seems that we didn't notice that there's some kind of grade in the wall here. Wow, let's see what's hiding behind it. Apparently there's some kind of descent down there. I really hope we don't have to jump down there, because it looks really dangerous. Well, since there's nothing interesting left in this room, let's quickly open this door. Wait, could this really be what we need? I absolutely didn't expect to see a brick wall there. Apparently, we still need to go somewhere else, and we made the wrong decision. Actually, there's absolutely nowhere else to go here since the only passage is behind this grate, and it's closed. I think we should take another careful look around because maybe we can notice some important details after all. To be honest, I'm already incredibly tired of all this, so I'm going to ask Kane to take us out of here right now. Wait, it seems that you opened a passage further. To be honest, I absolutely didn't intend to do that, but we got lucky and now we're in some incredibly old library. This really looks incredibly creepy. In that case, we can try to look for a secret passage somewhere here because it must be somewhere. I suspect we need to search these shelves carefully because something is probably on one of them. So far I have absolutely no ideas, and these shelves look too dusty for anything to have been placed on them recently. Wait, what is that? Is 
that really a real radio? It seems like you're much older than me, so maybe you could tell me in more detail how to turn on the radio. Apparently it is, so if you want, we can listen to some music. I would like to listen to music, but I absolutely don't know how to use this thing. Wow, it seems there's some kind of chest here. Wait, why has it suddenly become so dark here? Pomni, hide behind my back immediately before it can harm you. I absolutely don't understand who that is and where he even came from. Apparently, he makes some incredibly strange sounds and is trying to catch us. It seems that this pickaxe was necessary to open this passage. We hardly have any other choice but to break this grate to jump inside. In any case, that horrible monster will definitely catch us. Hey, Kinger, come over to me quickly, or else that monster will corner you. Right now, I'll try to distract him a bit, and at that same second, run through the grate I broke and jump down. Wow, guys, it seems that we really managed to escape from that incredibly terrifying monster. Just look how scary it is, and yet it still can't squeeze through after us. Thank you so much for not leaving me there. I was just so scared and didn't know what to do. Are we really going to be falling down for so long because of this web? This is definitely better than being eaten by that horrible monster, so it hardly makes sense to complain. I think we have time to look around for now, and to be honest, it seems that there's a radio in the center of the room along with some kind of cassette. That's very good because I think that if we try to play that cassette, we might learn something new. Finally, we've made it down, and now we need to carefully look around so we don't miss anything important in this huge warehouse. Do you think we will definitely find something to move on again? Let's carefully examine each of these barrels so we don't miss anything. Guys, I think you should definitely hit the like button under this video to support Kane so he can create even more adventures for us. Now, let's carefully look around, and to be honest, I'm incredibly curious about what that strange passage is right here. It seems like it leads absolutely nowhere, but it still scares me a lot. I completely don't understand what you need to do next because I can't find anything in these barrels, even though I've searched almost every single one. In that case, let me help you so we can speed things up. We need to look inside absolutely every barrel because maybe the next clue will be in one of them. It seems that I noticed some kind of button on the wall and I have no idea whether we should press it. I think we can leave that for later when we've searched every barrel. Did you really find something in that barrel? To be honest, it scares me a bit because everything we've found today has come in handy. In that case, please give it to me because I think it will be safer that way. Wait, did the monster really come back to us again? Try to use what we found together in the barrel because he probably won't want to leave here peacefully. Monster, get out of here immediately. Just look at this because it seems we did it, and the monster has decided to retreat after all. It's very good that right before he came, we managed to peek into that barrel. Otherwise, we wouldn't have anything to scare him away. Now he's run off and poses no threat to us anymore. It's great that we drove the monster away, but now we need to find a way out of here, so I think this button you found can help us. It seems that we really have no other option but to press the button, so go ahead and press it, and let's see what happens to us. Wow, it seems that we ended up in a completely different place. Place. I think I hear some horrible growling, so I really don't like it here. Apparently there's a ghost lurking around that initially lured us into this horrible basement. That's really bad, but we have no choice but to move forward. It seems this ghost is standing and watching us. It looks like he's trying to do something, but I don't quite understand what. I think we need to split up, so I'll go left and you go right. I believe that eventually we will definitely meet up in one place. Well, in that case, I'll move forward. And just look how terrifying this dungeon looks. To be honest, I really wouldn't want to go anywhere at all. But I have no choice but to get out of here. Oh no, not this! Apparently the ghost suspects something and is trying to stop me from escaping. It seems like it's trying to light the way. And I don't really understand what all this means. Hey, Kinger. But I'm waiting for you to come over to me. Guys, just look at this. It seems we're almost out of this basement at last. Hey, Pomni, why are you frozen there? Hurry up and climb up before something happens to you. I think you. I need to take a little break because the stairs are quite high. And and I don't think I can climb them too quickly. Wait, someone please help me get out of here. Oh no, guys, it seems I have bad news for you because something has clearly happened to Pomni. I have never seen her in such a state in my life. Hey, Kinger, are you really scared of me? We've known each other for so long, so I think you shouldn't be afraid of me. Apparently, I have no other choice but to show at least a little bravery. I probably can't do anything else to save her, so I have no other option. Hey, Kinger, have you completely lost your mind? I'm your longtime friend, Pomni, so I don't understand why you're trying to hurt me. I don't know what this all means, but I'm more than sure that something's definitely wrong with you. If you want to take my soul, then just run after me. I like this conversation much more than the previous one. Apparently, you're a pretty foolish ghost if you think I would just let you take my friend like that. You won't get away with this and keep this body for yourself. Get out of here, you disgusting ghost. Stop doing this immediately, or you will suffer the same fate as your wife. Hey guys, where am I even? Apparently 
Apparently, the stupid ghost was trying to take over your body, but I stopped him from doing it. Thank you so much for not leaving me in this basement. However, now we need to find a way out of here despite the fact that the ghost is blocking the only exit. Actually, I have an idea. I'll try to run to the left and distract the ghost while you run through the center and wait for me at the stairs. I really hope she doesn't trip or fall, or I'll have to save her from the nasty ghost again. Hey, Pomni, please hurry before the ghost attacks you again. It seems I managed to escape from him this time. Did those foolish humans manage to escape from me again? It seems I'll have to sit in this basement for another thousand years until someone at least comes here. Wow, did we finally make it back up? That was incredibly difficult. It's awesome that we're back up, so let's get out of this mansion quickly. Hey, Jax, don't you want to explain to us why you left us there and didn't come to help? Actually, I tried to save you, but I couldn't, so I'm sorry. You could have at least tried a few more times. Well, okay, guys, how are we going to leave now? Just look, it seems like Kane is flying towards us. Hey, guys, why do you look so sad? I really don't understand what's wrong because this challenge has a full five stars in the reviews. After what we went through, I don't want to participate in any challenges you create. Kinger is absolutely right, because we had to fight an entire horde of horrible ghosts. You talk as if you went through the challenges with us instead of lounging outside. Actually, I was on your support team. Soon, we'll be at the circus. And you guys, don't forget to hit the like button on this video and definitely subscribe to our channel. And make sure to leave your feedback about this adventure in the comments. Today, the weather is really wonderful in our amazing digital circus. So right now, I'm going for a walk. However, before that, I need to make myself something to snack on. Wait, what is that? Jax, have you completely lost your mind? It seems you completely misunderstood the situation because I absolutely wasn't trying to spy on you. The thing is, the gummy crocodile suddenly got very sick, so I came here to call you for help. You could have come through the regular entrance instead of spying on me through this kitchen window. Now let's finally go help the gummy crocodile because he must be feeling really bad right now. To be honest, guys, this all sounds exactly like he's trying to trick me. It seems we're already quite close to the place where something happened to the gummy crocodile. Do you have any idea why he might have passed out? From what I could gather, he just ate so many burgers that he couldn't even move afterward. Look, it seems he's lying right here. Looks like you really weren't lying about him feeling unwell. I'm telling you, so why did you decide not to believe me? In that case, why did you come to me for help and not to Kane? I thought we could come up with something together. So let's head to my carrot storage right now because I think I have some healing potions there. In that case, we'll have to leave the gummy crocodile unattended for a while until we get back. Let's run quickly towards your carrot storage. Wait, something seems off here. I have no idea how this is possible. It looks like he's feeling terrible too. Guys, it seems that right now the gummy crocodiles could really use your support in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button under this video and subscribe to our channel. It looks like we have very little time left, so we need to get to the storage as quickly as possible and find those healing potions. If we take too long to find them, who knows what might happen to the crocodiles. It seems you're absolutely right in this situation, so let's try to hurry as much as possible. I hope our gummy friends can get back on their feet. That would be incredibly cool, but now let's go into your carrot storage and see what's inside. Wait, something seems off because your storage looks completely destroyed. It seems I'm starting to understand what the gummy crocodiles gorged on and why they feel so bad. Explain to me immediately what's going on here. Recently, the gummy crocodiles got sick, and we concluded that they came here and ate almost all the carrots. We definitely need to come up with some way to help them. Since they decided to steal my carrots, I'm not going to help them with anything. I think they absolutely deserve being unconscious right now. Stop being angry already and hurry up with that healing potion you told me about. Guys, I really hope you can manage to help the gummy crocodiles on your own. However, if something goes wrong, you can always come to me for help. I think you can leave because we'll manage without your help. You definitely know where to find me. Even though we're going to help the gummy crocodiles recover. After that, I plan to go to their yacht and take all the remaining carrots they didn't manage to eat. I think that makes sense. But first, let's get them back on their feet. They're still lying in the exact same spots where we left them. So let's quickly help them recover with the healing potion. I really hope it will make them better. Now we just need to wait a bit. Wow. It seems we did it, and now he can at least move on his own. Nevertheless, I know for sure that he ate all my carrots, so I'm not going to tolerate him here. Come on, stop being angry with them because we need to help the other gummy crocodile. He clearly needs your help, so we can't just leave him lying here by McDonald's. Apparently it really helped him. This is really cool because now the gummy crocodile won't be lying unconscious all over the amazing digital circus. Nevertheless, I'm still not going to tolerate any of them around me because they really messed things up for me today. So what are we going to do now? I think we need to teach the gummy crocodiles a lesson. For such cases, I have a few buckets of water in my house, so I think we can try to flood their entire yacht. I think that's a very bad idea because the gummy crocodiles will get mad at us. I don't care at all because they ate all my carrots. Guys, I still think this is a very bad idea, but I can't stop him, so let's see what happens. Let's hurry down, but first I need to remember where my buckets of water are stored. 
To be honest, I think I took them to the basement of Ragatha's house, but it seems there's nothing here. I guess I have no choice but to go to my secret basement and try to look for them there. Did you really decide to hide the buckets of water somewhere here? Yeah, I think I remember they're at the very end of my secret basement. Guys, to be honest, I don't understand why he needs such a huge and secret basement at all. Hey, Jax, are you planning to hurry up a bit because I'm tired of waiting for you? Please wait a few more seconds because I need to go back up first and I've already found the buckets of water. There's a secret storage down there and no one should know about it, not even you. Well, let's hurry to the Gummy Crocodile's yacht because we need to teach them a lesson for eating all your carrots. Nevertheless, it's absolutely inappropriate behavior on their part, so we have no choice but to teach them a lesson. Let's quickly get to the dock. It won't be too far to swim to the yacht. I hope the gummy crocodiles are not home right now, so that when they return, it will be a little surprise for them. Actually, I brought even more buckets of water, and right now we're going to watch their yacht sink. That's really cool. So let's hurry up the stairs and pour the water right in the center of the deck. Now we need to go to the basement to check if there's any carrot left that they stole from you. It looks like there's actually some carrot left here. There's a gummy crocodile who doesn't even suspect that his yacht is about to sink. Now we need to get out of here quickly before this sleepy gummy crocodile realizes anything and starts hitting us with his club. Now that gummy crocodile won't be able to do anything to us because we're almost out of here and have taken all the remaining carrots. We just need to climb back up and get out of here before the gummy crocodile decides to- Of course, to... let's get out of here quickly because I don't like it here. I think we've successfully pranked the gummy crocodiles and now we need to head to the circus to tell Kane about all this. Do you really think he'll appreciate our prank and won't give us a lecture. It definitely depends on his mood and what he's doing right now, so I think we should still go to the circus and tell him about it. Maybe he's in a good mood today and will laugh about it with us. Hey Kane, we're here to urgently inform you that there has been a real flood on the Gummy Crocodile's yacht. Are you really involved in this? Have you completely lost your minds? They stole all the carrots from the storage, Jax, so we had no choice but to teach them a lesson. I will never let them go unpunished. Nevertheless, despite their actions, I think you've been too harsh with them. You should treat them with at least a little more respect. They deserve it, so we're not going to help with the flood. In that case, I'll handle it myself, and you promise me you'll never prank them so seriously again. I don't understand why he helps them every single time. I don't know why he does it either, but I think it would be a great idea to flood the circus too. Are you out of your mind? Get that water out of here immediately! It seems I have a better idea where I can pour the water because the magical room is quite dry right now. Guys, it seems he's really lost his mind, so we need to come up with a way to stop him urgently. In this video, the real Sonic ended up in our amazing digital circus. But is he really as simple as he claims when introducing himself? Will any of the circus inhabitants not like Sonic? Wait guys, it seems that I completely don't understand where I am at all. It seems that I need to go outside to look around and understand where I actually am. I absolutely don't understand how this is even possible, but it seems that I ended up in an amazing digital circus. As far as I remember, there should be Kane somewhere in this circus. Most likely I'll be able to find him in that gigantic red-yellow building. He will definitely be able to tell me how I ended up here. Otherwise, I will hardly be able to figure anything out. Wait, is this really not a dream? Wow, hi Sonic. You can't imagine how long we've been waiting for you. Don't you want to explain to me right now how I could end up in your world? You don't need to get out of here because you can settle down and get to know all the inhabitants of the circus. I think you can try to meet Pomni first. I completely don't understand who you're talking about, so I will hardly be able to find her. Pomni is another newcomer in our amazing digital circus. Well, fine. If there's no way out of here, then I will try to get to know the local inhabitants. And you guys, of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel if you like that I ended up in an amazing digital circus. Right now, I'm going to try to cook something really delicious in my kitchen. Unfortunately, I have completely run out of food. Wait, it seems that I heard some strange sounds. Who is that? Don't you want to introduce yourself before approaching my little house? I'm Sonic, and as far as I understand, you're Pomni. Kane sent me here to get to know you. I absolutely do not intend to talk to a stranger. Come on, I just recently arrived in your world, so I think we have a lot in common. Immediately leave me alone because I have already explained to you that I have a lot of other things to do. Please wait for me, actually. I'll prepare a few really cool gifts for you. Apparently, you don't want to leave me alone. So right now, I'm going to McDonald's and I'll complain about everything to Jax. Hi, Pomni. Don't you want to tell me who you brought to McDonald's? As far as I understood, his name is Sonic. That's very good, but why did you bring him here? He appeared in our circus quite recently and came to me to get to know me. I think that in that case, you can give him a little tour like all the other new characters in the circus. Well, in that case, you must first assure us that you are completely harmless and will not attack us. Don't worry, I definitely do do 
not intend to harm you in any way. By the way, I really love to walk and I can run fast. It's really cool that you told us so much about yourself. Let's finally give you a little tour of our circus. I think we should start by showing you the Kaufmo Lighthouse. That's a great idea because we can ride the water slides. Sonic, do you like to swim? Of course, and by the way, it's literally one of my favorite activities. Besides everything else, we have these cool water scooters. With their help, we'll be able to get to my house much faster. So let's hurry up and hop on them and head there. Apparently, I'll have to go to the lighthouse alone. Wait, it seems that something is definitely wrong here. Apparently, this water scooter is broken, so I'll have to walk after all. It's very good that it's not too far Can't left. Can't you really arrive any faster? Apparently, something happened to that jet ski because I couldn't start it. Maybe you just broke it. Just this time. Under no circumstances, throw any potions at him. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll behave. Now let's finally go up to the very top. I incredibly hope that our adventures today will be very fun. At least because riding on the water slides is incredibly fun. Water slides are really cool, but in the meantime, could you tell me how I ended up in your circus? The thing is that Kane loves various experiments, and your appearance is probably related to some new portal of his. However, I think we can talk about this later. And right now, we need to find Jax, who suddenly disappeared even though he was coming here with us. Hey, Jax. I just decided to clean up a bit in Kafmo's lab, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Well, in that case, we can finally go swimming on the water slides as we planned. By the way, I haven't been here in a long time, so it's really cool that we came here together. I really hope that Jax will finish his business at the light. Get off my water slide immediately! I completely don't understand since when this water slide became your property. I completely don't understand where you got this blue hedgehog, but I'm not interested in him at all. Sonic, don't worry about what's happening right now. Just jump down so we don't get hurt. Kofmo, you've really lost your mind, so calm down right now. I will never allow this hedgehog to swim near my lighthouse, so take him away somewhere far. Sonic, please don't be mad at him. He just has that kind of communication style. It seems that this stupid clown is getting too carried away, so I'll have to deal with him in my own way. Hey, Kofmo, do you even realize what you've done? I absolutely don't understand how this could happen, because my staff has never had such effect. Now you have no chance to escape from me, because I am much faster and stronger than you. But I completely don't understand what's happening. Apparently, Sonic has gotten incredibly angry and has turned into a real monster because of it. Stop running away from me, Pomni, because I will eventually catch you and eat you. Oh no guys, not this! It seems that all my friends have completely abandoned me, so I have no other option but to ask Kane for help. He seems to be at his circus right now, so he will probably find a moment to help me with this. Hey, hi Kane! It seems that something happened in our circus! I can't imagine how you managed to do this every time! Did Sonic turn into a real monster again and is now threatening everyone and trying to catch them? I think I have an idea of how we can save him, so let's hurry up to the second floor of my circus and try to help him! Apparently this monster has suspected something and is trying to run away somewhere far from the circus! We will definitely think of something very quickly, and he won't have time to run too far for us not to catch him. Please wait a bit because I need to find my healing potion in one of these boxes first. Hey monster, stop immediately! I don't care what you're saying to me, and I will do whatever I want, and how I want. Kane, please hurry! He's trying to eat all the trees! I won't let anyone break the trees that I planted myself. So here, take this potion! I told you to stop eating trees, and right now, that stupid monster will finally disappear forever. I really hope that the real Sonic will return, and will no longer turn into a monster. Thank you so much for helping me! Can you tell me what kind of clown turned me into a monster? I told you that his name is Kofmo. Did you really bring Sonic to visit him without warning? You should have just told him right away that he's completely harmless and shouldn't be kicked out. I'm sorry, I can be very impulsive sometimes and then I just can't control myself. Well, in that case, come with me, Sonic, and I'll show you the new little house where you will live. Guys, if you ever need anything, you know where to find me. Hey, Sonic, let's run together. And I think for a while you'll stay as a guest at Jax's. I think he definitely won't mind because he actually liked you. In any case, I can hardly choose where to live. So of course, let's go there quickly. Guys, you probably won't even believe what I just saw with my own eyes. Right now, Kane is swimming in the lake with Jax. Just look at how cool I can jump out of the water, just like a real dolphin! That's really awesome, but have you ever thought about inviting someone to swim with us? I think we don't really need them because we're having a lot of fun here on our own! Guys, it seems that something really strange is happening with my friends. It seems like I hear someone talking not far from us. Hey, Pomni! Guys, please don't be mad at me. You got it all wrong. 
there's no way you can get away with it because I'm more than sure you're just eavesdropping on our conversations. And at least it won't happen again, so please forgive me. I really hope you won't tell anyone about what happened here. If anyone finds out that we were swimming here together, you'll regret it a lot. Well, okay, guys. It seems like I should be leaving because today my friends are acting incredibly strange. So spending time with them makes absolutely no sense. Hey, Kane, explain immediately why you're following me. I'm just making sure you don't have time to tell anyone about what happened. Now that Kane and Jax are finally behind me, I'm going to tell you that right now I want to meet with Kofmo somewhere and tell him everything I saw today. I think this information will definitely be useful to him, and he'll find some good use for it. That's why I need to find him as soon as possible somewhere near the circus. He's most likely around here, because all last evening he was talking about having some important business here. Wow, Kofmo, to be honest, you appeared quite unexpectedly. You were walking around the circus as if you were trying to find someone or something here, so go ahead and tell me about Actually, I was looking for you to tell you what I saw. In that case, I'm all ears. I saw Jax and Kane swimming in the lake, just the two of them. Well done, and thank you for the information, because I can definitely find some use for it. I just wanted to go on the water slides and notice them talking about something down below. Now, I'm incredibly curious where they could be, because they've been watching me for a while as I was running away from them. If everything you're saying is really true, then they probably went to Jax's cabin. We need to get something incredibly interesting to prank them properly. It seems there was a bucket of water somewhere on Kane's farm at the circus. Do you really want to completely flood Jax's cabin? That's exactly what I'm going to do because it's going to be incredibly fun. And you guys, of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. Right now, we're going to pull off the greatest prank on our friends. Wait, is this really all we're going to take with us? Actually, I have some kind of potion, but I'm not planning to use it just yet. To be honest, I have incredibly high expectations for our prank because it seems like no one in our amazing digital circus has ever seen anything like it. It will be so cool to see our friend's reaction when we completely flood Jax's cabin. By the way, Kofmo, I think we should discuss the way we're going to enter their house. I think we should split up. That's why you'll go through the basement, and I'll come in from the top so they can't expect us coming from any direction. I really hope Ragatha isn't here today. Or with her surprise, she might ruin our whole plan. It seems like she's out for a walk somewhere. I think Kofmo will know when to act, so all I have to do is spill the water somewhere nearby. Have you all lost your minds? Explain to me immediately why you decided to flood this basement. Guys, just look at this, because it seems our prank went exactly as we planned. Now the basement in Jax's cabin is completely flooded with just two buckets of water. Hey, Kofmo, hope everything's okay here. But you still haven't explained why you decided to flood the basement. Just a few more seconds and I would have run out of air underwater. I think you'll have to remove a lot of water from the basement, and we're not planning to stay here any longer, so I say goodbye to you. Hey, stop right now! Kofmo, I hope you enjoyed our prank just as much as I did. It was really great, so I think we should team up more often. By the way, it was very clever of you to put the jet ski right by the entrance so we could escape from them. I'm already very tired and would prefer to spend the rest of the day on the couch. You can hide in my lighthouse for now. I'll give you a potion so that if any of them decide to teach you a lesson, you can defend yourself. That's a really good idea because staying here for a while will definitely be safer than going home right now. So let's quickly go up to your lab and see what you have prepared for me. I really hope our friends are sensible enough not to do anything stupid and attack us. Here's a simple teleportation potion. Please use it only in case of emergency. I'm going to take a nap on the couch right now. Now, so don't count on my help. That's better than nothing. All I have to do is keep a close eye on the lighthouse stairs so that none of the friends we pranked can sneak up here unnoticed. I think I should first carefully look around to make sure no one is coming this way. It seems that was indeed a great idea because Kane and Jax are heading straight for the lighthouse right now. I guess I can try to wake Kofmo up to help me set up some sort of defense against our friends. Hey, Kofmo, wake up as soon as possible because soon there might be nothing left of your lighthouse. Omni, have you lost your mind? I told you not to wake me up. Kane and Jax are almost at your lighthouse. I didn't think they would really dare to come here, so I just went to sleep. Now we need to urgently figure out what we can build for protection. I've already prepared the potion you gave me. Oh no, it seems our friends have already broken into the lighthouse. Did you really think you could prank us so easily and we wouldn't get back at you? It looks like I have no choice but to use this potion. Pomni, explain immediately what you just... Hey, Kofmo, it seems your invisibility potion really worked as intended. We can finally relax again while our friends aren't here. By the way, don't you want to tell me where they are now? As far as I remember, the potion settings indicated that they would be teleported to the top of the mountain. Could you explain how that cabin even ended up on that mountain? You'd better ask Kane about that. But if you want to find your friends, you'll definitely have to go there. Well, guys... It seems I have no choice but to climb that mountain if I want to see my friends even once more. However, 
before that, let's first make sure they are really there. Omni, if we ever get to you, I promise it won't end well for you. Guys, please stop being mad at me because I'm planning a whole rescue operation for you. That's why, if you can hear me right now, just stay put and don't try to come down on your own. Right now, I'm going to go to Ragatha to ask for her help in this difficult task. Most likely, she has some kind of ladder at home with which we can easily climb to the very top of the mountain. Nonetheless, she is very unlikely to refuse to help me, so all I need to do is find out where she's walking right now. Besides, as soon as we rescue our friends from the mountaintop, we absolutely need to apologize to them, because it seems we really went overboard and played too harsh a prank on them. We just finished our journey from the Concrete Kingdom. Got it. Thank you so much for deciding to visit us today. But I'm very sad that you still can't say anything. I've already lost hope that you'll ever learn to speak. But I think if our viewers raise the question of us making that happen, we might try to make it happen. Honestly, I'm really exhausted right now from such a long journey. These kinds of trips really take a lot of energy. I don't think anyone likes traveling for so long. By the way, Jax is at work right now. Hey, Jax, look who's come to visit us today. Hooray, it's the princess. Lately, you've been spending a lot of time at work. Because no one invites me on journeys, and apparently today you also decided to travel without me, and I'm upset. Because every time you try to mess things up and come up with some bad deeds, just quietly make a few donuts. All right, everything will be ready in just a few minutes. Just wait. The donuts here are very delicious, princess, and you'll definitely like them. Jax, how much longer do we have to wait? I already managed to prepare these donuts especially for you. They are very tasty, and I put a a lot of effort into them. You didn't order this burger, but I decided to treat you. Thank you for that! Finally, we can relax a bit and not think about any problems in our wonderful world. I hope that someday I'll eat not just a burger, but also some chocolate! I'm already trying to develop a new menu, and I've also finished up so I can take a walk with you, but I need to change first. Then we'll wait for you outside. And in the meantime, we'll see what's happening out there. But surprisingly, it's pretty quiet here. Let's hurry and visit Ragatha so she can enjoy this day with us too. There shouldn't be anything today, we can just walk around our circus. I'm so glad that today is such a peaceful day. And even the gummy crocodiles don't want to set a trap for us. I don't even remember the last time something like this happened. Usually we have all sorts of problems and we try to solve them. I need to catch up with my friends quickly because I've fallen way behind. Hope nothing bad has happened yet and everything is Pommy, fine. Bad news. What happened? The princess suddenly lost consciousness and now she's in serious trouble. We need to help her regain consciousness immediately. How is that possible? Could this be your fault again? I'm not involved in this at all. What should we do now if we don't even have any magical potion? At any moment, the gummy crocodiles could attack and then we'll be in a really bad situation. The main thing is not to panic and we'll definitely figure it out. Maybe we should give her a carrot. Are you out of your mind? Your carrot won't help us at all. Stop offering it every time. You'll see how my carrot will heal her. Everything will be fine. I don't think this will help her at all. Your idea was bad. I just wanted to come up with something as soon as possible, and yeah, it didn't work. I suggest we never mention that carrot again because I don't like it. Stop pushing me. You know I don't like that. Let's go visit Kane instead, and he'll come up with something and we'll solve our problems. All right, that's a good idea, and you should have thought of it sooner. Kane has always helped us. Don't forget that lately. He's been mixing up his potions too often, and that caused us problems as well. Maybe someone among our friends has been swapping them constantly. You're looking at me like I'm the one who did it. I don't want another problem pinned on me. Jax, you're very curious. I think it's time for us to head down because we're wasting- I'm almost at the entrance. Let's do this quickly. By the way, Kane is already here and it seems like he's busy with something. Hey, Kane, we urgently need your help. Did something bad happen this time and why did you come in here without my permission? The princess is feeling very unwell and she lost consciousness. I never thought the princess would want to visit us. Let's go to her as soon as possible and I'll definitely come up with something. I'll also bring a magical potion Someday with me. Someday I'll be better at making potions and we won't need to ask anyone for help anymore. Omni, it's your task to make sure nothing bad happens. That's very good. Thank you so much for your help. We'll go to her right away. Be sure to visit me later. I'll be waiting for you here. All right, we'll definitely come back. But for now, we need to hurry to help the princess. Jax, don't even think about stealing that potion from me. Fine, I won't do it even though I was planning to. By the way, Kane was acting very suspiciously. Did you happen to notice that? It feels like someone has replaced him. Yes, I noticed the change in his behavior too, and I don't like it. All right, let's talk about about this later, but I felt really uneasy when I started talking to him because he was angry. I hope nothing bad happened to the princess and that the gummy crocodiles didn't find her because they could have kidnapped her. And why did the gummy crocodiles decide to settle here when they used to live in the Candy Kingdom? I don't know how to answer that. Maybe they like it here much more. By the way, the princess is still here. Let's try throwing this potion then, and something should happen now. Oh my 
my god, Jack. Stop pushing me every time you get the chance. We need to get out of here right away. Come up with something to save us! I already have a cool idea, but I'm not going to tell you. Follow me, and you'll see with your own eyes. Though I think you've already figured out that I'm leading you to the underground Are you seriously bunker. planning to go back to your carrot stash to start eating it instead of solving our problems? I'm very hungry. And honestly, I'd recommend you eat some carrots too, because they really help calm the nerves. I don't know how it works, but I've noticed it. We'll definitely be safe here, so come down quickly. I'm only coming here so that this abstraction doesn't get me, and don't even think about offering me a carrot. As you can see, it's pretty spacious here and not too cramped. We need to help the princess, not sit around and wait for this abstraction to run off somewhere. Can't you understand that we have big All right, problems? you're right. Then let's get out of here. By the way, I want to make you happy. I've got my magical potions stored here, which I recently stole from Kaufmo, so we can definitely solve our problems. It should be around here somewhere, and yes, here it you is. You better give me that magical potion so you don't accidentally drop it, because sometimes you can be really All clumsy. Right, if you think it's better that way, then take that it. That abstraction must be nearby because I remember it was chasing us. And yes, I was right. It really has been here all along. But now it's even bigger, and we definitely need to deal with this problem. We need to act quickly because it's getting bigger and bigger, and soon it might engulf our entire circus. Princess, we're going to help you now. Everything will be fine. Just trust me. I'll make sure of it. It looks like it worked. The abstraction has stopped. Phew, good thing you brought the potion. Princess, we thought we'd never see you again. I'm sorry if we caused you any trouble. We didn't want a situation like this to happen. Hey, where are you running off to? We haven't even spent time with you yet, so please stay with us. Don't leave. Jax, it seems she's really upset. Looks like we won't be able to spend time with her today because she's decided to leave us. I feel really awkward because I didn't want any of this to happen. I hope she's not too angry with us. I think we should go find her and apologize, and at the same time, we can do what she asks. I really feel guilty, and I really want to apologize. Don't want us to stop talking. That's a great idea, because then she'll definitely be able to forgive us. Oh, guys, what a wonderful weather today in the amazing Digital Circus. And I probably want to go to McDonald's and have a very delicious meal. Hey, hi, do you have anything to eat today? Of course, it's only morning, and I've already managed to prepare a little something. I wouldn't mind a burger, but we can go for a little walk. Well, if you want to take a walk, I'm certainly not against it. We have big plans today. I just need to change clothes a bit. Wait for me outside for a moment. Okay, I'll wait outside then. Guys, while you're at it, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button because it's important to us. All right, let's go quickly. Just need to close McDonald's. Oh, by the way, it looks like Kane is standing by the shore, and it seems like he's trying to repair the boat we'll be sailing on very soon. That's actually a very fun activity. I'd like to ride it too. Kane, hi! What are you doing here? I just decided to tune up this boat a little so that it sails even faster. I think we'll be able to test it very soon. As you can see, it's still not ready and isn't sailing yet. I hope you'll manage to fix it soon. I think I managed to start it and even sail a little. Take a look. Get out of there. Stop. You don't need to do that. Be more careful with that. I think you shouldn't be doing this. Maybe we should go for a little walk somewhere. Stop arguing. It's not important at all. Well, maybe we should go to the circus to see Kane. There's something interesting for you there. I almost forgot that we prepared something for you there. Well, all right, let's go. There's nothing else to do anyway. And I certainly don't mind going for a walk right now. I'm curious what they prepared for me there. I hope it's a huge cake that I'll happily eat. Let's go upstairs here and see what it is. And where are my friends? Why are they taking so long to come up? Guys, where are you? I can't see you at all. Come on in, I'm going to show you something. This is going to be really exciting. But I don't see anything here yet except for this cage. I think you've already guessed that we want to lure you into this cage. Come on, get in quickly, we need to check something. This is too suspicious, and I'm not sure if I should go in there. No, no, it's all good, I'm telling you. Well, all right, let's try it. What does this all mean? Hey, what are you even doing? This was a little prank for you, so you don't get too relaxed. Jax, look what he's doing. Maybe you'll let me out of here. This wasn't my idea, but I fully support it. No one would want to sit in this cage, especially not me. What are you even thinking today? Jax, so, do you remember what we wanted to do? Get the potion out, quickly! Of course, it's the teleportation potion. Wait, have you completely lost your minds? What am I supposed to do now? Let me out of here immediately! Oh no, I'm going to teleport you somewhere now. Oh no, I feel like I'm starting to lose consciousness. What's happening to me? I can't feel anything. And where am I now? What is this place? It looks like a cage. This is very strange, but all right. I hope someone rescues me from here soon. Someone, please help me. I'm here alone and it seems like I'm trapped. I need someone to wave me out of here. Please hurry. What is this? How did you end up here, Pomni? You locked me in a cage yourself. And then you all threw a teleportation potion at me. I don't even understand what you're talking about. Today, I've just been in my little house watching TV. But how is that possible? I clearly saw you next to Jax. Let me get you out and you can tell me more about this. So you really haven't been anywhere today? 
How is this even possible then? I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't do anything today. I've been sitting in my house. I think I have bad news. Someone pretended to be you and maybe that someone has taken over your circus. That was probably Kofmo. We need to stop him as soon as possible before he causes any trouble. My farm is there. I think we don't have much time. We need to run there quickly. Well then, let's go. He was on the second floor and they locked me in the cage together. Don't worry, we'll sort this out. I don't think there's any problem here. We need to get closer and take a look. He's probably still there, and I hope he hasn't done anything bad or broken your farm. If he does, believe me, he's going to regret it. I'll get my revenge. There he goes, flying away, probably heading to his lighthouse. Hey, stop! Where are you even flying to? He's definitely done something. I can feel it. We'll need to fix all of this. I really hope he hasn't cursed my circus and that bad luck won't follow me. I feel like things like this only happen in cartoons. Indeed, he could have learned a lot by now. I hope he hasn't messed anything up here, although at first glance everything seems fine. I really hope so too. Your flask looks kind of strange. Where's Jax? That's a very good question. I hope he's safe and nothing's happened to him. Then we need to deal with him quickly and rush to his lighthouse. Jax is probably somewhere around there right now. I'd like to hope so and I hope that he's okay. Let's be confident about this. Otherwise, nothing will work. Let's go all the way to the top and check. He's most likely up there in the cage right now. We need to talk to Kofmo and find out why he did all this. If he tries to escape, I'll probably wait for him here while you go up to the very top. Even if he tries to fly away, I'll chase him down. He won't get away from me. Great idea. I hope he doesn't throw some potion at me and turn me into a monster. It's still empty here, and we need to go even higher. There's no one in the cage either, which is very strange. So, let's go to the top floor. For some reason, Kaufmo isn't here. Then we should probably check his room where he spends most of his time relaxing. He's got a very comfortable bed and a jacuzzi. I'd love to have a lighthouse like his because it's so cool. Look, it seems like Jax is standing there. I can't believe it. He wasn't here just a moment ago. Where have you been all this time? He took me with him and I was sitting in his cage for a long time, but then I managed to get out. That's good, but don't prank me like that again. Where's Kalfmo? I don't know, he said he wanted to take a dip in those slides. There he is, it looks like he doesn't see us. What should we do? I've got an idea, let's push him down. That would be awesome. Let him take a little swim. Great idea. Hey, Kofmo, come here. I think you'll really enjoy taking a swim. What do you think you're doing? You scared me. I was scared too when you lured me into the cage. So hurry up and jump into the water. All right, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Well, have a little swim and then maybe we'll forgive you. As soon as I get out of here, I guarantee you'll regret this. What are we going to do next? I don't know. We could go for a walk together, for example. We've gotten our revenge on him. And I think you need a swim, too, for trying to prank me. But I already apologized. I won't do it again, I promise. It seems like I've gotten back at both of them pretty well. I think I'll take a walk on my own today. Guys, we finally managed to go on a picnic again with my friends. Finally, I can take a break from all the problems and just lie under the sun. Actually, you're not under the sun. Ragatha, aren't you tired of being in the water for so long? Join me. It's really warm today, and it's nice here. Romney, maybe we should prank her and have some fun. We could steal her clothes. I love to have fun, and it's very funny. Accept it. You won't regret. I'm not agreeing to that! Guys, what were you standing there talking about? Uh -huh. I was against it. It seems like something of yours got stolen. I told you not to do that! I think we're going to have a great time. Let's play tag. You're completely crazy. You guys are so boring, so let me change your mood! That's totally rude! Give back what you took right now! Why does that rabbit always try to ruin everything when things are going well? We agreed. No one would do that. Don't worry, we'll definitely get him and come up with something. I just bought myself a new dress, and he immediately wanted to steal it. Maybe it's just me, but the dress is on you right now. Looks like he took something else. That's exactly why I'm so mad at him. He repeats the same thing every time and I really don't like it. Let's go ask someone for help. It seems like I get it now. We'll have to go to Kane's house because he's the one who solves our problems and helps us with difficulties. Someday we'll definitely help him if he asks us for help. Ragatha, are you sure we can't catch that little rabbit ourselves? You perfectly understand that he's very fast and we won't catch him just like that. We'll need a magic potion here or we'll have to make a trap so he can't escape and gets cornered right away. Fine, I really like like that. By the way, why did our friend Kane start building a new cage here at some point? He's been preparing it all this time for one of us. I doubt he'd want to lock us up there. Friends don't do that. He's probably rehabilitating gummy crocodiles there. We'll be in trouble if he's not here. Oh, how lucky he's still around. Exactly. Let's go to his lab. Okay, Kane, we've got a small problem, and we need help solving it. Hi, guys. Quickly tell me what Jax happened. Jax decided to prank us again, and he stole Regatha's things. You know how to teach him a lesson, right? I've tried several times, but he still hasn't realized he needs to change his behavior. Looks like he's doing it on purpose.
is so we pay attention to him. Let's not waste time just talking and figure out how to teach him a lesson. Give me a little time and I'll definitely come up with something. Come quickly with me. In my warehouse, there should be some tools we can use to make a very good trap. Trust me, I've got experience with this. I've heard that sometimes Kofmo flies here. That's right. Sometimes he leaves his stuff here for safekeeping. And I've already found the magic potion. Looks like we'll be skipping the trap today. Someone took my magic pickaxe, but I'll give you a laptop that can shrink him down several times or send him into the void. <laughs> that sounds so good. I'm ready to go right now and find him. Just don't even think about deleting him from our code or there'll be big problems. I don't know how good of an idea this is, but if there are no other options, we'll have to go and use this laptop. Honestly, I really don't want to because every time we do, it never works out. I've studied programming really well and you can rely on Let's me. Let's think about where he could be. He's probably at the beach or in the carrot warehouse, although he most likely went to the circus again for carrots. He's probably somewhere around there. Exactly. Lately, he's been taking the harvest from the farm too often to replenish his stock in the warehouse. I still can't figure out why he's trying to gather so many carrots when he's been eating them so rarely. Try not to show this laptop because Kafmo might notice it and then he'll take it from us. You did the right thing by giving it to me. Now you'll see firsthand how I can use it for different purposes. Honestly, that really scares me because I'm so worried something will go wrong. Wait, there's Jax. He's been at the circus all this time. Looks like he has no idea that we want to teach him a lesson. We have to take advantage of this moment and act quickly. We need to surround and catch him. Great! Let's come in from different sides. Use the ladder so we don't waste too much time. I'll go through the farm and hopefully we'll meet up at the top. Just don't start without me. How I love soda. You just can't imagine. It's funny that I've never tried it before. I hope we have a few more cans left because I've almost finished the entire supply. Jax, you're not going anywhere and you're in big trouble. You'll never catch me, especially since you're alone, so I'll just run away. You missed one little detail. Oh my god, why did you appear behind me so suddenly? Why have you been chasing me all day? I didn't want to take my friend's things because that's a bad thing to do. All right, I'm ready to apologize to you if you have a magic potion. Only then can we make that's a exactly deal. That's exactly why we came here. Right now, you're about to get a very special magic potion. Get ready for some fun. Wait. Looks like he's teleported somewhere. It's time to use our laptop. He's probably teleported to one of the mountains in our digital circus. I'll change the teleport locations now and he'll end up somewhere else. And I'll also make him very small so it won't be as fun for him. I'm worried he might get upset with us because we're doing too much just to teach him a lesson. What if we can't bring him back and we never see him again? I told you everything will be fine and I have the situation under control. Right now he's near Kofmo's lighthouse so let's hurry and find him before that clown does. Why didn't we think this through earlier? If Kofmo gets his hands on him, we're in for some dangerous adventures. Don't forget, I've got the laptop. Try not to break the laptop. I always take care of these things. I never even broke a potion. Jax usually breaks or smashes something constantly, as he is very untidy. I'm just not used to it because we hardly ever used it before. Hmm, I've already found Let's him. Let's go to him quickly and talk. I'm really curious to know what he's thinking right what now. What did you do to me? Oh, don't scare me like that ever again. I want to be big and strong again. Why did you teleport me and make me so small? Do you really think this is funny? Answer my questions. You didn't behave well today, so we wanted to teach you a lesson. I'm ready to give these things back right now. Just help me become normal again. You have no other choice because your situation isn't the best right now. Fine. Just promise me you'll help me become normal again. Do it as quickly as possible because I feel like an ant right now. Regatha, it's time to end this prank. Jax, I hope you've learned your lesson and won't behave like this again. Fine, I won't do it anymore. At least not for a while. Jax, if I were you, I'd think really hard before pulling something like this again. Or at least come up with something different because you keep doing the same thing and it's not fun anymore. Hope you'll change your behavior because it's starting to upset me. Soon we'll hide all our things from you and you won't be able to take them from us. Boo, thank you so much for not leaving me in trouble. I promise I won't do this to you again. I am very glad. As long as we have this laptop, you definitely won't. But now we need to return it to our friend or Kane will get mad at us and there will be no time for jokes. Oh, I almost forgot we were planning to have a picnic. In my restaurant, everything is free for you That's today. That's great, because I got really hungry while we were running around our amazing digital circus. See you soon, friends. Regatha, why did you call me here again if you know it's very dangerous? Nothing bad will happen, I promise you. Besides, you can always find something interesting here. And anyway, the gummy crocodiles left a long time All ago. All right, if there's no danger, this is actually a pretty good idea, and I agree with you. There was a way down to the basement somewhere here. Let's check it out quickly and not delay. As far as I know, they should be storing maple syrup down Wait, there. what if it's another trap? Don't worry, I'll be 
right back. Just a couple of seconds. Looks like I'll have to stay here alone and wait for her to return. And in the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I don't want to just sit here doing nothing, so I'm going to scout around and take a look. Stop! What is that? And where did the camera come from? Hey, Jax, did you have permission to film us with that camera? These are just great shots. Oh, no, looks like they noticed me and I had to run. Forgot that we'll find out everything. What will I find Jax out? Jax has been recording us on video this whole time and watching us. Why haven't we caught him yet if he did such a bad thing? I don't know, but maybe this laptop can help us. Let's take it with us and try to hack into the circus code Let's later. Let's get out of here as fast as possible. We need to catch he him. He already ran into himself in the restaurant, so it will be quite He's easy. He's probably watching the videos he managed to shoot right now. So let's first head to my house. I have a plan. I want to set a trap for him and throw a potion that at him. That sounds really cool, especially since it always worked. I hope he doesn't suspect anything and our plan doesn't fall apart. Of course nothing will happen. He's completely confident in himself and thinks we won't do anything. He's already trying to review the footage from the camera. We'll act really fast, so get ready to hurry. The main thing is to catch him red-handed. I didn't quite get your plan because you haven't explained it in detail yet. Wait, I need to find some things so we can do everything. I'm talking about tools, just so you know. I think I'll go get some fresh air. Why is the window in your house broken? Hmm. From here, there's a pretty good view of the restaurant. Jax broke the glass. By the way, I've already found everything we need. Let's go after him. Our plan has to work. It's great that you had so many useful things at home to help us prank him. He's still in the restaurant, so we can act right now. Jax, you're going to have a big problem if you don't delete all the footage from the camera. Turn around and look at us. I'll never do that, and you won't stop me. You're way too overconfident and underestimate us. I know perfectly well that you don't understand me, so I'm running away right now. Wait, how about I trade this laptop for your camera, and we'll call it Are even. Are you crazy? I would never agree to that, and I wasn't planning to post it anywhere. You can check the camera yourself to see everything. That was easier than I thought. Jax, don't ever do that to us again, because it's wrong! I'll be back. You shouldn't have kicked me out of my restaurant. Get out of here and don't show up in front of us again! Ragatha, we even had to set a trap for him to carry out our plan! The only thing left is what we're going to do with this camera. I'd take it to Kofmo so he can erase all the You're memory. You're right, because the gummy crocodiles might find these videos online, and then we'll have big problems too, since they'll be mad at us. After all, we went to their home without permission and wanted to find something I there. I didn't expect Jax to start spying on us with a camera, so I thought we'd get off scot-free, but now everything's different and we might be in big trouble. I wonder what that clown is up to right now. By the way, here he is. We didn't even have to look for him to ask for help. He's probably fixing his attraction or building something new. Kofmo, we urgently need your help with something important. Just look at how great everything is here. Your attractions are indeed fun, but right now we're not in the mood for fun. Tell me quickly what happened, because you all look worried. You guessed it. We wanted to ask for your help to deliver delete all the videos from this camera. Even I've never done something like that. Let me take a look. Ha ha. We want you to delete everything because we don't want any personal problems. All right, I'm willing to help, but I want to keep this camera for myself and leave it at home so I can film too. I'm not deleting anything. Are you completely crazy? Do you really want to keep everything for yourself? Ragatha, we shouldn't have asked this clown for what help. Happened? I missed everything. Where did Kofmo disappear to? He took to? the camera and flew off to his home. Now we're definitely in big danger. Sorry, I thought he'd really help us because I got the impression that he'd turned nice. Let me think, because right now I have no ideas at all. And it seems like we won't succeed because that clown moves very quickly and we have too little time. He's going to tell everyone. How about we go to Kane and tell him about the whole situation? He'll definitely find a solution and help us sort out our problems. We don't have any other choice, especially since today is his day off and he should be at home. This is our only chance to catch that clown because only Kane can influence him somehow. We definitely won't be able to handle it ourselves, and that makes me really upset. Don't worry, sooner or later we'll be just as strong as they are. You have no idea how much time that will take. It could take years. But then we won't have to ask anyone for help and we'll solve all our problems on our own. I get that it's uncomfortable for you to ask our friends for help every time, but we don't have a choice because we can't manage on our own. I don't see anything. Kane, I'm so glad to see you. I already figured you found some more trouble, so I decided to catch up with you and ask about it. We need to it. catch Kofmo because he stole a camera with videos Why of did you go there without their permission? That was very dangerous. Jax was spying on us the whole time and recording us on camera. I still can't believe he decided to do that to us. We can teach him a lesson, but we need to be very careful because he might already be expecting us. Let's head down to my place. I'll try to find some tools that will help us defeat him. We're very grateful to you because you always help us. Somewhere around here is my magic staff, which I hid especially for such an occasion. Are you saying we're going to use a new magic staff to defeat Kalfmo? I want to punish this clown very much. He is bad. I really like this adventure. It's going to be fun. And here's the magic staff I'm going to give you. Take it and go to that clown. But how do we use it? We 
don't know anything. Never point it at your friends because it's a very dangerous thing, and you could end up with even more problems. Thank you so much for your help. We're going to find that clown right now because he treated us badly and still has the camera with all those videos we want to delete. And here we are at the place where the clown is sitting and looking at the camera. I can't wait to teach him a lesson. All in good time. The main thing is not to rush and not make any reckless moves or we won't defeat him. By the way, there he is. Hey, Kofmo, you're in big trouble now and you don't even realize we're here. It's never gonna happen. Are you all crazy? There are so many good shots on I it. I gave you a chance to make things right and you blew it. This magic staff should stop Where you. did you get that if it never existed? What kind of joke is this? Stop using that staff. I'm losing my strength. I promise I'll return everything to you. Now you won't be as brave as you were before. I just wanted to have some fun, but you ruined it again. I'm never giving up this staff and don't even look at it. I think we did a great job handling our tasks. Kofmo, next time behave differently. This clown will never change, so there's no point in asking him for anything. We need to take this camera to Kane so he can delete everything. Guys, the weather is incredibly good today in our amazing digital circus. So right now, I'm going to drop by McDonald's to see Jax. Wait, absolutely no one around, and there's just some camera standing in the middle of the room. I think I should definitely take it with me, and then someday I'll... Wait, it seems like Jax is coming here right now. First of all, I wanted to know, did you come here just to grab a bite to eat? Actually, Actually, I changed my mind and I'm going to leave here as soon as possible. Wait, it seems like something is wrong here because the ceiling shouldn't collapse on its own. Hey, Gummy Crocodile, have you completely lost your mind? Get out of here immediately before we give you a proper beating for what you tried to do. By the way, Pomni, do you happen to know where the camera that was standing right here near this table could have gone? I think the Gummy Crocodile managed to grab it while we were trying to chase him away from here. Anyway, I need to get to work on repairs so I won't be able to feed you so you can come back later. Wow, guys, it seems like I'm incredibly lucky. Jax didn't notice at all that it was actually me who stole his camera. By the way, guys, it seems like I completely forgot to tell you that a real llama has appeared in our amazing digital circus. By the way, hey, Kofmo, do you want to explain to me what you're doing here? If you really don't notice, I'm just trying to get a little sun. Then please quickly tell me why you came here. Just don't tell Kane anything, but I stole some camera from Jax's McDonald's and want to see what's recorded on it. Wow, now that sounds really interesting. So please wait a bit while I gather all my stuff. I'll definitely wait for you because there's no way I can check what's recorded on this camera alone. How much longer do I have to wait for you? Let's quickly go behind my lighthouse so that no one sees what we're up to. I suggest we don't go too far and set up this camera somewhere right here. Here. Kofmo, quickly take a look at what's recorded on this camera. Wait, I absolutely can't believe what's on this. Did Jax really walk around my lighthouse and record everything here while I was asleep? It seems like he's really lost it, and I truly don't understand why he even did that. Unfortunately, I don't know the answer to that either, but now I'm incredibly angry at him. Do you have any ideas about what we're going to do now? Take this potion, because you're the one who'll have to throw it at him since he trusts you. Do you really want to throw a potion at him just because he filmed your lighthouse? I warned him not to film my lighthouse, but he disobeyed. Now go and teach him a lesson. Honestly, guys, I'm still not sure if Jax really deserves to be punished this severely for what he did. I really hope that no one overheard our conversation, Kofmo, and that no one will stop me from teaching Jax a lesson. It seems like right now he's still trying to restore McDonald's. I have absolutely no idea what Bubble is doing over there. It looks like he's trying to tell Jax something, but clearly he's forgotten that he can't talk. Do you want to explain to me what all this means? Hey, Bubble, so we'll just forget about Kane for now so he can explain to you in simple terms that attacking people is not okay. I think he's just a little hungry, so I suggest we give him this apple to try. It seems like you're right because he's calmed down and started behaving more normally. It looks like this apple has been in the fridge for too long, so it's taken on the effects of a vanishing potion. I'm here to find out why you were recording Kofmo's Lighthouse today. I have no idea what you're talking about, since everyone already knows that I'm making a movie about our amazing digital circus. I think this all makes no sense, so I'm going to give you a good lesson! Now tell me what's going to happen to me after you decided to test your potion on me. This is exactly what I didn't expect. Omni, immediately explain to me what happened. Here. I'll definitely tell you about it later. I'll try to deal with this abstraction using my magic staff right now. I think we should first hide somewhere far from here because it's unlikely you'll be able to defeat the abstraction that quickly. I think the closest safe place to us is Jax's carrot storage. That actually sounds like a great idea because I really can't do anything against it. In that case, let's hurry inside and close the door behind us so the abstraction can't reach us. It seems like we're safe now, so please explain to me what that was all about. You might not believe it, but Jax was recording everything happening inside the lighthouse while Kofmo was asleep. I don't understand why he would do that. I don't know why either, but Kofmo found out about it and sent me to throw some potion at Jax, which then turned him into an abstraction. We need to quickly come up with a way to save our friend and turn him back into himself. By the way, to be honest, it seems like there was a lot more carrots here the last time I was around. I think Jax just ate most of 
of the carrots that were here. Let's finally get outside and figure out a way to deal with the abstraction. Actually, not far from here, I have a secret chest with some potions, so I suggest we head there right now together. But the abstraction somehow ran right past us. It seems we're incredibly lucky because it probably got distracted by something else. Now, thanks to that, we have time to get to my secret chest without any problems. By the way, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our videos, as it really motivates us to create more and more interesting episodes. Kane, I hope you've already found the potion we need. Of course I found it, and I've even come up with a plan! You'll need to distract the abstraction while I sneak up from behind and throw this potion at it! It seems like the abstraction is now near the circus, and we need to somehow get its attention. Hey, abstraction, come here immediately because I know you want to catch me. Pomni, don't worry because I've already thrown the potion at it! It seems like it actually worked, and soon our friend will be back to himself! Wait, something's clearly wrong here because someone must have swapped the potion in the chest. I suspect Kaufmo might be responsible for this. I have no idea what we're going to do now because Jax just disappeared right in front of us. He most likely just teleported somewhere, so let's go to Kaufmo and confront him. Guys, this is really strange because I never expected Kaufmo to set us up like this. I can't imagine why he decided to switch the potion in the chest we found in the cave. By the way, here's the camera that Jax used to film the lighthouse. In that case, we should take it with us just in case so no one else gets upset about it. All right, let's finally climb up this giant staircase to the top of the lighthouse. I think Kaufmo should be there right now, and maybe we can figure out a clever way to teach him a lesson. Hey, Kaufmo, what are you up to right now? Would you like to explain what you're doing here with Kane? Better if you explain to me where my restoration potion from the chest in the cave near your lighthouse went. Actually, I thought you didn't hide it securely enough, so I replaced it with a different potion. Stop right there! Kane, can we really just let him go without giving him a proper lesson? I think this works in our favor because now we can do something inside his lighthouse. Tell me what exactly you want to do because I have no ideas. I think we can start by rearranging things here a bit so that he's really surprised when he gets back home. That's a great idea, but what will we do after that? I think that'll be enough because I'm sure he'll be incredibly angry when he sees that half of his kitchen cabinets are missing. All right, but maybe we should also take something interesting from his lab. That's an excellent idea, so I'm going to take these two cabinets to put in my place. Besides that, I want to grab a few potions to really annoy him. I think that'll do. Now let's go find Jax. That's a great idea, and I even know a few places where he might be right now.